Here is the Yangtze River, the first and longest river in China. While providing water for the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River, it also brings numerous floods and water disasters. To control the floods, China built the world-renowned Three Gorges Dam in the Three Gorges area of the upstream Yangtze River. This is one of the largest hydroelectric projects in the world, with a total installed capacity of up to 22.5 million kilowatts, and a total investment of 240 billion Chinese yuan. Today, the super dam, consisting of a dam, reservoir, power station, and ship locks, not only controls the flood disasters in the Yangtze River Basin but also generates approximately 1 trillion kilowatt hours of electricity for China each year. However, many people do not know that during the construction of the Three Gorges project, China purchased a batch of substandard steel from Japan, which almost led to the failure of the entire project. So, what did China do to save this massive dam project in the end? To convert the energy of water flow into electricity, Chinese engineers need to pump water from the reservoir into the interior of the dam. The water level in the reservoir and the drop inside the dam reach 175 meters. Therefore, Chinese engineers must increase the flow rate and pressure of the water by using turbine units and steel water pipes. The steel water pipes are an important component of the system. They need to withstand the impact of hundreds of thousands of tons of water flow, at a flow rate of 1,020 cubic meters per second and a water pressure of 1.75 megapascals, which requires the pipes to withstand more than 40 joules of impact force, equivalent to a pressure of 17 kilograms. Therefore, the quality of these steel water pipes is crucial to ensure the long-term use of the pumping system. However, at that time, China's steel industry was still in its early stages of development, and domestically produced steel could not meet the performance requirements of the dam's water pipes. Yet, for such a massive hydroelectric project, the quality of the building materials was undoubtedly crucial. Therefore, China used an international bidding process to purchase the steel needed to manufacture the water pipes. Unfortunately, China ended up buying substandard steel from Japan, which almost ruined the entire Three Gorges Dam power generation system. At that time, China purchased 4,000 tons of low-alloy carbon structural steel plates from the Japanese steel giant, Sumitomo Metal Industries, at a cost of over $1.7 million. The Japanese steel group provided the steel plates to China in batches, starting with a batch of 700 tons. China conducted quality inspections on this batch of steel, but the results were shocking. The steel plates failed to meet the production performance requirements for the water pipes in terms of yield strength, tensile strength, ductility, and impact resistance. The test results showed a significant difference from the technical data reference provided by Japan, so China raised questions to the Japanese steel group. However, the representative of the Japanese steel group denied any involvement and refused to acknowledge China's test results, claiming that the issue was due to China's outdated testing technology. Therefore, China applied to a third-party testing company for another round of tests, but the results still showed that the batch of steel plates did not meet the required standards. After being inspected by all third-party testing companies, the non-conforming rate of this batch of steel plates was found to be 100%. If these substandard steel plates were used to manufacture water intake steel pipes, the pipes would certainly rupture when facing high-pressure water flow. In the process of pumping water for power generation, the ruptured pipes could cause the entire Three Gorges Dam to experience electrical leakage and explosion, resulting in losses of billions or even tens of billions of dollars in equipment. The time and money required to repair such damage would be astronomical. Therefore, China could only request that the Japanese steel group return the batch of steel. Because the Japanese steel group deceived Chinese purchasers, the representative of the Japanese steel group had to admit that the reason for the quality deviation was due to the use of an immature new process and promised to return and refund the entire batch to Chinese buyers. However, 
China had already spent a lot of time and money during this process. In the dispute with the Japanese steel group, the construction plan for the power generation system of the Three Gorges Dam was delayed for too long. In the end, Japan apologized to China during the negotiation process and re-provided China with high-quality steel of unmistakable quality. After China's strict testing, these high-quality steel from Japan were successfully used in the power generation system of the Three Gorges Dam. No matter what kind of large-scale project, the quality of building materials is always crucial. In addition, I think honesty and trustworthiness are an important prerequisite for friendly cooperation in international business cooperation.